Now what we have in front of you is the Morimoto D2S 5.0 projectors and this is what all is included in the box and I'll just give you a quick rundown. Now the first thing that's included in the little baggie is this pigtail right here. This activates the high beam solenoid in the projector. So you start off by plugging in this black plug into the projector like so. These pins will go into this 9005-9006 connector, but that's for a later time. Next piece that is included in this baggie is the silicone washer. Now this goes on the projector like so, and the main purpose of this is to isolate the projector in the bowl to reduce any kind of vibrations. Now the next thing that's included in the hardware baggie is this H4 positioning washer. To install this, you want to align this pin with the groove on the projector and it just slides right on. Once that washer is put on, the next thing that's included in the hardware baggie is the 5.0 lock ring. To install this, you just simply thread it on. And remember, righty tidy, lefty loosey. Now, the last thing that's included in the box is the D2S Moto holder. Now, to install this, you also just put it on and thread it on. The next step once you've unboxed the projector is to take your reflector bowl and you have to remove this shield right here. So to do that, flip it around, take off this screw, take some needle nose pliers, bend these two tabs in, flip it around and just pull it out. Now once that's removed, the next step is to unhook this bulb clip and just wiggle it out. So once you've unboxed your 5.0 projectors, you wanna go ahead and plug in the pigtails, put on the silicone washer, and let's start putting it into the reflector bowl. Now the first step is to route these solenoid wires through this hole. So the next step is to pick up the projector and start putting it into the reflector bowl. Just line up the threaded shaft with the hole. Now, once your projector is through, you wanna go ahead and pick up your H4 positioning washer and go ahead and put it on. Make sure you line up the pin with the groove. Next, you can pick up your 5.0 lock ring and thread it on. Now, I do wanna mention that we did have to trim off this excess material around the lock ring because it wasn't fitting. Now, to do that, we did use our Dremel Easy Lock cutoff wheels. Now I do want to mention that once you install this lock ring, you don't want to tighten it down just yet. You want to put it back on the bench and shine it on the wall to align it, and then you can tighten it down with the 5.0 lock ring tool. Now the 5.0 lock ring tool isn't included in the box, but it can be purchased separately, which I highly recommend for a much smoother install. Now that we have it all lined up on the wall, wow, look at the difference between this and the halogen beam. This is perfect for nighttime driving. Now that we have the output right on the wall, now's a good time to snug down the lock ring. Take your 5.0 lock ring tool, go ahead and install it on the lock ring. Make sure the pins line up with the notches. Take either a ratchet or a wrench that's 10 millimeters and tighten it down. Now you don't want to over tighten it, but you want to get it nice and snug. If you over tighten it, you run into the risk of cracking the housing. Now that we have the lock ring snug down, I'm going to add some JB Weld on top, just as an added security so down the road the lock ring doesn't get loose on you from the road vibrations. The way to properly mix this JB Weld is to run two beads side by side at an equal length. Now you just want to mix them together thoroughly. Once you have that mixed, carefully apply it to the lock ring, making sure that you do not apply it to the threads. Now to secure our bulbs on the projectors, we're going to use our D2S motor holders. These have a nice slim design and will secure the bulbs with ease. To install this, align the two pins with the two notches in the motor holder and slide it on and start threading it on. Make sure you tighten it nice and snug, and you're done. You can tell that the output is a lot brighter than stock, very crisp, very clean, very wide, and 
you just have the light exactly where you need it without blinding oncoming traffic. Now we flip to high beam. As you can see, it's a lot brighter than stock. It is higher and overall, it's gonna help you with your nighttime driving.